Hi everyone, Holly here. I'm doing a short video just to explain how a lot of this was constructed. Um, I had several requests on how I constructed this fairy garden that I have here. Okay, um, to start with, this here. This is actually styrofoam. And this is uh, wallpaper that you can buy. It's a peel and stick. But I didn't stick it. I used, if, as you can see, I used straight pins. And this is styrofoam. Um, I kept the packing material from some furniture that I bought when I moved in. And I kept these long pieces that I have here. Um, because I thought, wow, they'll make a great side. So this one is actually one whole piece of styrofoam that goes all the way. It's five feet long. Um, this came in some packaging material. If you want to connect a couple of pieces of styrofoam together, you can use a couple of the skewers, wooden skewers, break off a couple of pieces, stick a couple in one side of the styrofoam, and join it to another piece of styrofoam. And you can make your little wall. And then just cover it with the wallpaper. That's all this is. Um, that they sell at Walmart. It's $19.99 and you get quite a bit. Um, I've still got a huge, huge roll full, which is really wonderful. Um, then I just got some dried flowers and tucked down in there. Underneath this moss here are two square sheets of styrofoam. Um, I put I hit some uh, styrofoam blocks that I got, they're floor blocks I got at the Dollar Tree. I put several underneath here to hold up the square sheet. And then this is just sheet moss, this here, which you can buy at Walmart. Uh, it's $3.99 for a good size sheet of moss. It w It's... Uh, about three feet long and about two feet wide, or about a foot wide, foot and a half, somewhere around there. Um, you can get it for three ninety nine. It's a good size sheet. It's paper backed on a lot of it. Some of it isn't. Um, I got moss from two different stores. I also got moss from Joann's um, sheet moss, and laid that out. And a couple of places I added like a second layer over what moss was underneath there. Um, these acorns come out of bags of potpourri. I find those big, big bags of potpourri and I take pieces out because it gives a perception of size when you look at it. These sh acorns should be tiny to us, but to a fairy, yeah, they're going to be rather large as they should be. To give a sense of perception. Um, this little garden piece I found at the thrift store along with this little gazebo here that my little fairy queen is standing in. She can move. These are those Disney paint your own figurines you can buy at Walgreens. And I just painted them one color, one gold, one bronze, so that the fairies would have their own statue. Uh, the little thing they're standing on, this deal here, is actually for a uh, PlayStation game. And you put these little characters on it, and I guess you can fight with them or whatever. Um, that's what that is. A lot of the fairies I got that are down in here, these and such, I got at Toys R Us. They're part of that Schleck collection. Um, some of these other ones, like this one, um, who has a little basket. This is actually a miniature that I got in the miniature section at Michael's. Um, she has her little basket that she can carry. Um, she, I got at Michael's. Uh, this little thing I found at the thrift store. And for the water, I added some food coloring to glue and put inside so it looks like water. Some of these other fairies are Schleck fairies that 
I've found at other stores. Um, mostly Slack is the name of the company. Um, the little chairs I got at Joann's out of their little miniature fairy section for my fairies to sit on, which I'm knocking all over the place. <coughs> These little balls here and this little kind of apple looking thing. I thought it kind of looked like a pumpkin, but I got those out of potpourri. <coughs> the little animals. They're from uh, Toys R Us. Their plastic animal section. The little fountain and little bench piece I got at Hobby Lobby. This little piece here that looks like a little house, I actually found that at the thrift store. I thought, wow, there's a little house for my fairies. There. These little houses here I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, the silk flowers and these, all the little succulents, I actually got those at the Dollar Tree. Um, they sell those little succulent plants and I just surrounded the I put styrofoam in in a circle around the front of the water fountain there and put uh, the succulents and some flowers and some fake grass and stuff in there and just stuck it through the styrofoam so it would stay in the styrofoam. Um, the big plants you see in the back, they're just between the wall and the styrofoam sheet that's there under the moss. I just tucked them in along the way, just like along here. I tucked it in. The big silk trees and plants, those are big silk trees, by the way. They're, uh, I got those at the thrift store. And two of them I actually got free from a wonderful lady who, by the way, her name is Karma. And she is awesome. She's a 95-year-old woman. She is just totally incredible. Um... It was a little short story. I met this woman uh, just about maybe half an hour after I was sitting with a friend saying, talking about something that someone did, and I said, I would love to see karma. Well, a few minutes later, we go to the thrift store, and who do I run into? A woman whose name is Karma. Talk about strange. <laughs> But uh, these big silk plants, they're just thrift store specials. I, I think I spent like six bucks a piece on some of these. I love this one with the big leaves. And then uh, the trees itself, these are actually off one of those uh, garlands. I took all the pieces off and tucked them into the trees. I have pink and purple. Um, I got these at the thrift store, too. It was a garland with these on it, and I, I really love the flowers. And that's another one of the big trees and bushes that I got at the thrift store. Then I just added some of my other fairies that I made, like that one there. And What are my fairies? Oh, there she is. Her there. And that one. Um, that's actually hanging by clear thread that I brought at Walmart. There's another one of my fairies hanging. The butterfly wings and stuff are off of actual butterfly Christmas ornaments. I used the wings for my fairies. I thought it worked out very well. So that's just a little explanation of how it's done. The wall, however, is a mural by murals.com. And it goes all the way around my room. Uh, the corner piece is actually, that has the waterfall picture on it. I don't know if you can see it. See if I can, there we go, light it up. There's actually a waterfall picture up there. Um, that corner piece is actually a door mural that I put there in the corner. So the waterfall would look like it was going into the fountain. So when the fountain's on, it just looks like one continuous flow. Um, that's about all I can think of. You know, you have to use your imagination. And, you know, like, 
I got these little grapes at the dollar store. Dollar Tree. I thought they were cute. The little fairies like them. One of my flowers fell. Tuck you in there. You know, and you can go change this around when you want. This little guy, isn't he adorable? Isn't he the most adorable little girl? It's a little squishy kind of toy, but uh, he was at uh, Toys R Us. But I thought he was so cute. So, of course, he's in my garden. <laughs> and these little pumpkins are out of potpourri bags. Um, it's just, yeah, I have a lot of fairies and another bu a little bunny here. And, you know, just, oh, those little houses, that one there and the one over behind that fairy there are actually cake toppers that I bought at Hy-Vee in the bakery. If you go to your local bakery, they will sell you the toppers that they put on cakes. And it's really great. I mean, it's like uh, $3.99 to $5.99, depending on how many pieces and how big and all. But they will actually sell you the toppers for cakes. All you have to do is ask at your local grocery. And I have a lot of these big gemstones in here. These were actually from a Christmas kind of thing. They're supposed to be table decorations for Christmas. You know. And then I have my found things. I love these big coins. I got these at the Dollar Tree, too. Which, to a fairy, they look like they would be, you know, ours for us because they're so big. Um, but I have my nice little pile of found things. The little water fountain back here, that's the little water fountain that I found at the thrift store. But that's pretty much all it is. I mean, building this whole fairy garden uh, was approximately, I'd say, maybe $100. So, not bad. But, I mean, you can use your imagination, create your own, and just go with it. What pleases you? Okay, well, that's Holly signing off, the Savvy Crafter. Peace out.